A super classy truck is taking over a deserted one way. They must be having an urban plan. Meanwhile, there are a few farm animals. While the farm animals were about to cross the road, a vehicle sped fast. Mr. Gorilla asked the farm animals to stay put and observe him cross the road. He was watching the roads from both the sides and finally crossed the road since there were no vehicles. Just as the farm animals should what? cross the road, a black truck was coming from one way and a vegetable what? truck from the other. Oh, no. The farm animals narrowly what? escaped. Both the trucks were facing each other and were honking continuously. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Gorilla curiously opened the truck door and realized the farm animals can cross the roads from it. While the cow was trying to open the other door, Gorilla had opened it. Let's cross from here. But instead of crossing, the animals were fascinated by the house appliances and began looking at them. Guys, shall we watch TV and chill? Guys, you need to come quick. What? Realizing something is fishy. <laughs> the gorilla went to check in the truck. He caught the animals caring nothing about the ongoing show in television. Now the gorilla has to resolve the driver conflicts too. Instead of pulling up a war, why don't you take the side way and get lost from here? The rabbit listened to him. It's time to convince the man to go. Should I be asking you specially? Please leave from here. It is the moment he realizes what? that there were animals chilling in the truck lobby. So he immediately followed the truck. The truck is moving so quickly, so he needs to match its pace. Mr. Gorilla decided to what? take the displacement route and get to the truck in time. Ah! Meanwhile, the animals could feel nothing about the bouncy roads. They were drunk by the television. The gorilla was running so fast, which is why he feels choked and needs rest. But just then the truck went by. The truck is trying to drive up the slope, but there is not enough friction. The gorilla somehow managed to get to the slope. And utilizing the opportunity, Mr. Gorilla opened the truck door. What? And all the application and furniture along with the animals came sliding down the slope. Even Mr. Gorilla was taken to the slide by the TV and all of them were taken by the rock. They went somersaulting in the air. And the gorilla landed into a house while the sofa landed just out. The cow joined the gorilla through a somersault and same with the goat. The sheep and finally the pig promoting major harm. Mr. Gorilla is done with life. A peaceful clear day. The farmer comes and the calf greets him. The animals curiously see what's in the truck. And the motor car unveils itself. All the animals had their mouths hung in a maze. Calf, please make sure my car is safe. The calf agrees to protect it, but all the animals don't care. 
Hey man, you better get down from there. Everybody needs to leave. Go away. The animals were still longing to drive the car. Seems like the sheep has a plan. Oh yeah. The animals were cheering the sheep while the calf was confused. <laughs> Soon the motor car started and the sheep went driving it away. The calf immediately ran after but couldn't match the pace. What? Soon the pig showed up driving the farmer's truck. And the other animals followed him through different vehicles. A goat who was delivering something stopped. Do you know where the farmer lives? Yeah, his house is right there. Thank you. The calf has a plan now. The animals were carelessly driving. Followed them from the delivery guy's bike. The calf kept following the animals and turned back just to see the cow is angrily following the calf too. The sheep took a turn while the other animals went strains. And the calf took the turn to stop the sheep. Soon everyone lost track and jumped, but they knew who they were running after. The calf was driving and communicating with the sheep to stop the motor car. But he is denying. The sheep sees that the cow is following the calf, so he increases the speed leaving the calf being chased by the cow. The calf took another smooth turn and the cow ended up driving into the palm tree. The calf is finally near the sheep giving him a death glare. While the goat was waiting for the calf with the same energy. And the calf stood there to stop the CR at the cost of his life, but he was lucky. The calf successfully rescues the motor car from damage, and it seems like the farmer is impressed. There was a cow separately kept from the remaining cows. It was an outcast. The cows are peacefully hanging out at the farm. Some were resting, some were standing, and some were eating. One day he was walking by and felt hungry looking at the grass. He asks the cow if he can have it. But the cow rejects. Once when the cow was peacefully resting, the fellow decided to do mischief. He threw a bucket full of water and teased the cow. The cow was clearly bullied. The outcast cow walked back into the barn unable to withstand the cows bullying him. have a plan to trick him. Let's surround the barn from all sides and shake it. As planned, the cows began their mischief to scare the poor cow outcast by not letting what? him rest in peace. Oh no! <laughs> The cow nodded in disappointment and left the cattle area and began walking to nowhere. Meanwhile, there was a train that left and the cow just walked out of the station. The cow missed the train so he left and went on a walk. He comes across a treasure box. He opens the box and something abnormal happens to him. The cow feels magical.
The remaining cows were resting in the farm, while the cow outcast took shelter in the station premises. Soon it started to rain and the cow was still stuck there. With the town's misfortune the dam barriers broke, and the water started to flood into the town. The cows were panicking at the cattle. And began running to the station where the magical cow stood. Can we board a train right now? The cow nods in yes and soon all the cows take the train while the magical cow decides on driving them for the rescue. The train was stuck in the rail. What? Oh no! The magical cow tried to move it, but the train wasn't moving. A fellow cow decided to help. But the train was still stuck. You can go back in. I know how to rescue all. Trust me. The cow sat under the engine and began channeling his inner power. It made the train move and soon the train moved into the air. The power of the cow made the train operate in the air. And all the fellow cows were having a glimpse of the town from up above. Soon the cows were rescued and were brought to a safe place. Where the flood did not reach. And from the hilltop saw the cow. A flooded city. The cow is here for some grazing. It is her daily activity. What? Heavy jumps did not work out, so he took out the cow on a fierce run. He forcefully meat had the cow. And the poor one went rolling in the air and fell into a red pond. She ended up looking red as a result. She again ended up standing in front of the bison. And he was triggered again and ran to knock the cow out. What? The cow is quite brilliant so he moved immediately. And the bison ran into a tree and hurt it himself.
He eated the cow successfully. On a very clear windy day at three swings back and forth. Walter cows walk towards the tree slowly and on reaching upon the tree they start to eat. Leaves off the tree from either side right then calf walks and standing right in the middle. Now the calf turns towards the tree staring at the tree and the two cows intensely. The calf jumps heavily hoping to reach the tree's leaves for it to feed on. The cows look at the calf while pausing their feast on the leaves. I want to eat those leaves too! The cow shakes his head in disapproval for this. Sad and shakes his head in disappointment. The cows go back to eating the leaves on the tree. And our little cough has not decided to give up and jumps again and attempt to get some leaves. But this attempt goes in vain too. So the calf taps onto the other cows to speak with them and request for help. Please, I'm starving. The cows look at each other and not to themselves. The cow plucks out one leaf and goes to the little calf when the cows try to take the leaf from the cow's mouth. The cow pulled back the cow pulls back every time the calf tried to take the leaf from its mouth. Finally, the cow eat to leaf without giving it to the poor calf and walks away. But the evil cows started to laugh among themselves. A really strong wind out of the sudden blows, moving the couch. And the tree itself with the wind fell down a leaf on the ground. And the calf goes towards it. But one of the cows goes behind it and blows the leaf away. What? Cow eats the leaf and walks away. Little calf is very upset that I couldn't even eat one leaf. Back to the tree. Another strong gust of wind blows, making it difficult for the calf to even walk. As the wind shifts the cop's direction, it finds a leaf's top to the stem of the tree where the calf has the easy access to eat it. But again the other cow pops up quickly and eats the leaf and walks away. Leaving the calf in disappointment yet again. Another huge blow of wind springs blowing with the two cows out of the places as they deserve. The wind bends the tree too much that it gets to the level of the calf. The clad moves towards the tree slowly and starts to eat all of the leaves that it possibly can. A happy ending. In a pleasant cattle area there live cows that are now resting and the buffaloes that are having a good meal. The cow felt thirsty so she began walking to the nearby lake. There was a bison eating grass who happened to notice the cow going towards the lake. While the cow was drinking water, the bison ran and leaped at him. The cow fled and fell into the mud. So hard that the mud fell out of the pit. The cow is determined to tell this to his mates. And I ended up falling in mud. And the mud literally splashed out of it. This is embarrassing. And I want to prove my worth. The cows and buffaloes followed him to the bison. I want to teach you a lesson for unnecessarily eating me off. Let's have a fight. Oh, so you want to lose again. The cow and the bison are facing each other. 
they were all ready. A few steps back and now the game started. The cow determinately ran to return a kick which made the bison fall into the trees and break them. The cow and her mates began laughing at the bison. The bison is running for another attack and the cow is prepared. The buffalo then invited the bison for the fight. Meanwhile a pair of lions were observing the face-off for a long time. The lions ran into the farm before the bison and buffalo could have a last face-off. They stopped the fight in between what? and ran for their lives. The cattle mates were being chased by one of the lions and they were going in one direction. In the other direction, the other lion was chasing the bison. Soon the bison took a jump into the water and the lion gave up and left. In the other direction, the cattle mates were divided and ran in two different ways. The lion was confused and gave up. An isolated fairy tale coated farmland. But this belongs to a greedy farmer and his subordinate gorilla. Enough of grazing and relaxing. Form a line and get in. The farmer demands you all to be present. The cows got in one by one and at last an innocent calf. <coughs> the cows waited patiently. Soon the farmer had come and asked a cow to accompany him. The cows expected it. Soon the cow got out with her energy completely drained. The greedy farmer extracted four buckets of milk from the cow. It's time for another cow. All the cows backed away except for one cow. Meanwhile, the silly calf ran towards the milk buckets and wasted them all into the ground. And returned back while the farmer was busy dragging the cow. He received a minor cardiac arrest seeing what the calf has done. What? Hey, come here. Someone among the cows has wasted the precious milk of all four buckets. Keep a check on those idiots. All right, master. The gorilla returned back to what? see no cow being present there. Where are you rascals? The cows are clearly stuck oh, by no. fear. The gorilla spotted them and all of them had to assemble. No overintelligence. I think we should dig an underground tunnel and bravely escape. The cows had worked hard and finally their path was arranged.
While the gorilla was in deep sleep all the cows began escaping through the tunnel into the greens far away from the cattle jail. They see the farmer and gorilla go inside the cattle house. They could only see the calf in a huge tunnel behind him. What? The farmer went mad. I'm really sorry. Please call all my baby cows back. How do I believe you? You have been unkind and used us for years. Well, I'm apologizing now. I'll never repeat. I need you guys so much. The cow is convinced. Guys, come back in. The farmer wants to apologize. All cows were convinced and soon walked back to the cattle house. I apologize to all my cow babies for treating them unkind all these days. I need you cows. I hope you all will support me. Pleasant day for the horses at the farm there. And here's the caretaker. And it looks like he will ruin the day for them. He's going to transport loads till some destination. <laughs> And he made four horses line up for it. They started going. The horses were able to go patiently until some distance. They have come across the slope and managed to climb half of the slope. The horses felt very exhausted climbing the remaining slope. They successfully arrived at the destination and got rid of the load. Never have I ever felt this exhausted. We need to get rid of this man. We have to escape him or we may die due to the workload. All the horses agreed to the saying of one horse and planned to escape the farm. They successfully got rid of the caretaker. He was shocked to see an empty farm. Oh, look at these unfaithful horses. They could not even take load. And they are so useless. I should get a few cows. They will blindly follow me and be so unproblematic. Let's quickly get them. Soon the caretaker brought a few cows to the farm. He now arranged a cart to transport the load again. The cows are perfectly dragging the cart until the slope comes. The cows started to feel exhausted trying to climb all up. But the cows somehow managed and succeeded to reach the destination. Then they got rid of the load. The cows are extremely exhausted and provided no water by the caretaker. This is absolutely cruel. We were close to death and we still managed to bring him the load here. That sick fella did not provide us water yet and he was hitting us back there. I think it's time to fix him now. Here the caretaker comes to trouble the cows again.
and the cows will not tolerate him. They all surround him while swaying their horns, and the caretaker looks terrified. The cows begin eating him to one another. This continued until he was finally thrown away. Lesson taught.